let's look at zooming and navigation now. Now, first of all, the area you have selected is the area that the shortcut we use will affect. And you know which area you have selected because it has this blue line surrounding it. So right now I'm on the tracks area. Right now I am on the editor and right now I'm here. So if I zoom in the tracks area, it my shortcut affects that. If I go to the editor, the shortcut affects that area. Now, how do I make something bigger? Now, the first way is to click on it and press E to open up the editor and then just grab it and resize it. Another thing you can do is to click and hold on track and then drag it. And that will open it to a separate window which you can resize to your liking. Now, very important shortcut. We are going to be using this all the time. You hold down Command and use the arrow keys to zoom horizontally or vertically. So you place, the playhead, you place your playhead where you want. This will be the center of my zoom. And then here's Command and Up and Down for vertical zoom. You can also hold the arrow. And here's Command and Left and Right arrows for horizontal zoom. You can achieve the same effect by using the vertical and horizontal zoom sliders on the upper right corner. Another way to zoom like that is if you have a mouse that has side scrolling and which I totally recommend because it makes editing and navigation much easier. So you can hold down Option and scroll up and down for vertical zoom or option and scroll left and right for horizontal zoom. Next to the zoom sliders, we get the auto zoom buttons. Now this, these will adjust the zooming depending on what we have in our tracks area. So they will increase or decrease the zoom amount to fill the available space in our tracks. You can of course have both of them on. Now another useful zoom is the one that functions exactly like the zoom in Ableton. So you position your playhead where you want, let's say bar 17, and then you hold down Option and click and drag upwards or downwards. Another way to zoom to a specific area is to use the zoom tool. There are two ways of doing that and it is preferable to use a shortcut for both. So the first way is to hold down Control and Option. And you can see that my mouse changes to the zoom tool. Now, with that, I can drag across the area that I want on a region. Let's say that I want this area right here. So Control Option, drag, and it will zoom in. I can. I can do that again and go all the way in. Now to go back, I hold down Control and Option and then simply click. And I will go to the previous step. Click again and again to go back to the original zoom. Now, if you are not on the region, you can bring up the tool only by holding down Option. Now the reason this doesn't work on the region is because Option and Drag will duplicate the region. So if I hold down Option and drag it, it will create a duplicate. Now to make a specific track bigger, you select the track that you want, let's say the classic electric piano, and then you press Ctrl and Z, as in Zulu, and it will make my track bigger. But that function will stay on, so whatever I choose now, it would make that track bigger. To go back, I press Ctrl Z again, and it is deactivated. Now another way for extreme zoom, which also works if you select the region instead of the track, is to press Z, as in Zulu. So let's say this one, and I press Z, it makes it huge, or this one. 
Of course, you can adjust each truck size individually. So you go to the dividing lines between the trucks, the mouse pointer changes, and then you can click and drag and resize to your liking. Now sometimes you will make a mess out of the different sizes and you will want everything to return to the same size. So you do the same thing, you go back to the dividing lines, you hold down shift and then click and everything will become the same size. Lastly, let's bring up the key commands menu. So that's uh, option and K and let's type in zoom. Now that will bring us a lot of zoom options and you can edit these and add your own shortcuts. But the one thing that I want you to see is that we have three different zoom states and you can save and recall them by using these key commands here. Okay, so let me show you. I can press the numbers from one to three that are above the letters on my keyboard and bring up the different zoom states. So let's say, let's make them extremely obvious so that you can tell the differences between them. So we are currently on, on one, that is the default one. So let's make the truck bigger and then press two to zoom in. Okay, that's the second state now, and that's the third one. Let's make that even bigger. Let's make this piano bigger now. So that's one, that's two, and that's three. So I can have three different zoom states. And that's everything about zoom.